So Pekka got a 33% range buff, which I'm not exactly sure what that's going to look like because Pekka's always always had like the weirdest range in the game where it will hit hog riders that are really far away. And it got 33% more range, which is interesting. So I put together a very interesting level 16 Pekka deck where basically I have Mirror for level 16 Pekka. Both are going to have the new range. I've got cycle cards. I've got two evolutions. It's going to be epic. And I also have a little anecdote I would like to share that happened recently. Please bats kill that for the love of God. Thank you very much. Um, you know what? I might even just go for a tornado right off the rip just to try and kill that before he plays just anything. And that's a smash. That is value right there. If I can kill all that, we're being chilling. So basically, this anecdote starts at 4 p.m. on a Friday where my neighbor has started drinking with some poor fool from the pub. Now they're drinking at his apartment, okay? They're not drinking at the pub. They went to the bottle shop planning to have a night drinking. Oh God, what is this? You can't do that to me, man. Don't scare me with nights at the bridge like that, Jones. Um, yes, yeah, so they planned to have a night drinking and at 4 p.m. they started, right? I went around to my neighbors at 7 p.m. There were glass bottles everywhere. They'd clearly been drinking for a while. And I was like, all right, what's happening? And we had a little chat and apparently they had this little game going on. And the game was, whoever goes to sleep first loses. You have to keep drinking and there's one dollar on the line so it's a complete pride thing whoever can just stay awake the longest by the way level 16 pekka will it get to the tower holy holy moly did i say only without the h um well apparently it's n kind of i mean the bat's got a ton of damage oh the new range uh, okay yeah so i went around to their house and they were playing this game who can stay awake the longest and who can keep drinking and they were asking me who do you think is going to win and i said my neighbor of course because he's a maniac and what happened was i was chilling out with them till about midnight just having chats i wasn't drinking this night because i had to make a video <laughs> just kidding i love making videos guys <laughs> um and so yeah um and then i left about midnight when they planned to go to some bar or pub or something like that in the middle of the night so i was like you know what I will happily just go to sleep. By the way, did he lightning? I'm just going to play another pecker in the back. Yikes, I'm going to have to take that into the other lane. And it's not going to work. All right, we're going to do a thou... Okay, for some reason, Pekka is on the tower here. All right, I'm going to teach you kids a little thousand IQ play here. All right, we're going to go bang, bang, bang. Go above skeletons. Another thousand IQ play. Come on. Yep, yep, that kind of worked, and we took minimal damage, and he played a level 15 E-Giant into a level 16 Pekka for some reason, so I guess I'm going to play a Pekka in the back, and I'm going to play a Firecracker, because I do not know what that was. <gasps> and so anyway, I went back to my apartment, I went to sleep. I had my eight hours of sleep, I went about my day, and then I um, wanted to see what was happening with my neighbor on Saturday night. So I went around to my neighbors, and I went out to the balcony, and they're both still sitting there. <laughs> it's drinking. A whole night later. There's, there's just beers everywhere. And they, they were drinking all through the night, all through the day. And they were still awake and they were still having chats. As if nothing had changed. It was ridiculous. I smell a... Okay, I was going to say, I smell an uh, E-Giant in the other lane. But I will just go for the Firecracker. That is going to do a shit ton of damage to his tower as well. Oh my god, I'm leaking. I don't even know what to do with all this elixir. Pekka is too broken in Clash Royale in 2024. Oh my god. Wait. Please kill that. Oh, and a Volfire Cracker. Oh, that's not going to splash the tower. What? Yeah. Okay. All right. So he's finally going for it. Let me just play a bunch of cycle cards. I just don't want to choke this game because like, I don't have a big spell. So I actually do have to get the Pekka to the tower at some point. Please, the new range. Damn it. Um, and then he's going to hopefully hit the Fire Spirit. No, he's going to hit my Firecracker. No, and he's going to get damage on my tower. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm in a weird p position right here because you'd think... I'd won the I've won the game, but all I have to do is this thousand IQ. Okay, yep, predicted. Um, okay, what if I just do that? And then I, I I was hoping to play my firecracker at a special time to try and catch him off guard and get damage because firecracker is how I'm going to win this game. But I'm just wasting elixir at this point. I literally had too much elixir. I didn't know what to do with there. I'm hoping he goes for an e giant at the bridge here. Um. That firecracker is getting a shit ton of value. Tornado killed it. Perfect. All right. Yeah, that story's on hold for one second. So, okay. Let's just make sure that he doesn't win through firecracker chip. All right. You know what? We're going to lightning this in. I mean, tornado this in. Perfect. Go for a double firecracker at the bridge. Both are going to hit the executioner. And we're going to win the game through AIDS. So, 
the deck is good, so we're going to keep playing it. But yeah, basically, I went around to my neighbors, right? And they were still drinking a whole day later. I couldn't believe it. And so I was like, all right, screw it. I'll join them. I'll have a couple beers. And so we were drinking and we were having some chats. And the bet was still going for some reason. One dollar. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get the degeneracy that is required for this game to be played. Like, why? Just why? <laughs> and um, yeah, you know what? If they want to have fun, it was a long weekend. So they had Monday to recover. Fair enough. So I hung out. I stayed till midnight again. And um, then I went back to my apartment to sleep like the little bitch I am. Or I'll make a video. I can't even remember. There were no drunk videos lately. Also, what? Royal Recruits? That's not going to be fun for Pekka. Anyway, Pekka in the back. He spent a lot of elixir. If he plays a tank, I'll play level 16 Pekka in the other lane. So once again, I went to bed. Eight hours of sleep. Yummy, yummy. And I got a text from my neighbor about 7 a.m. when I woke up. And it was just a picture of him looking at one dollar on the table. And it was captioned like we won or something like that. And I was like, cool, man, congrats. Um, yeah, we're gonna go for a, uh, a mirrored packer here. And then we're gonna hope the firecracker can just support the hell out of both. Um, yep, sure, firecracker. Just please, two, it two shots the flying machine. Firecracker is ridiculous, dude. Wait, unless it's level 14. Oh yeah, my firecracker level 14, I'm pretty sure. No, don't kill my firecracker. Um, yeah, and so he won the bet, of course. What's happening? Okay, that froze it. Don't hit the bar barrel for firecracker. There's like three angry men in the left lane. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop watching. All right, we're going to have to recover from this game. So yeah, my neighbor won the bet. And apparently he had been recovering all week until this weekend. Get a hit, damn it. He'd been recovering all week until this weekend for his actions. And I don't blame him. They were drinking for like 48 hours straight and they hadn't slept as well. If you thought my 24-hour challenges were crazy... Well, try his, apparently. Um, get, yep, that's a King Terror activation, baby. That's a pog in the chat. Where's the pog? Wow. All right, anyway, enough with the fairy tales. Even though that was very real, believe it or not, it was real. I don't have the creativity to whip this shit out of my ass. It's time to win. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to do this. Look at that. That is called Genius IQ Gameplay. And yet, it's going to lead to fuck all. Because, wait, the new range? It's going to get a hit. Please, Pekka! Yeah! All right, I have a feeling he's going to go with, yep, yeah. okay. Perfect, so hopefully I don't take too much damage here, boys. Let's just clean all that up. I don't know why I said boys. Both characters on the field are girls. In fact, every character except the king on the field was a girl just then. Um, he's going to go with Royal Recruits. No, he's not. He's going to go for Zappies. I'm just going to tornado that in. Before he zaps, I think my best chance of getting damage and forcing out Elixir from him is just abusive firecracker. So I think that's what I'm going to have to... Don't kill it! Okay. Alright. I'm going to go with this. It's a bit ambitious. Fuck. Okay, you know what? We're going to lean hard on the, um, on the old... Please don't die! You know what? I think a change can be made. I think the deck can be better. What it needs. Who am I kidding? It's a gimmick deck. <sighs> At least we won a game, right? <sighs> Smash subscribe.